Welcome back to a new English lesson, dear grade 7 students. In today's lesson, we will go through module 8a, vocabulary, read part 1 in your students book pages 100 and 101 and in your workbook page 108. Now let's have a look at the objectives of today's lesson. Today you will be able to 1. Recognize some words related to feelings and personality. 2. Read a comic strip for jest. So today you have two objectives to achieve. In this slide, dear students, I have some important words for you to remember. Disappointed. Disappointed means sad or unhappy because something that you didn't expect happened. Look at the picture. The boy is disappointed because he didn't expect to get the slow mark in the exam. So he is disappointed. Nervous. Nervous means worried about something. Look at the picture. The boy looks nervous. He is worried about something. Terrified. Terrified means very frightened. Look at the picture. The girl looks terrified. Annoyed. Annoyed means to be slightly angry. Look at the picture. The boy and the girl are annoyed with each other. They are slightly angry. Exhausted. Exhausted means very tired. Look at the picture. The boy looks exhausted. He is very tired. Proud. Proud means satisfied. Look at the picture. The boy graduated from university, so his parents are proud of him. They are satisfied. Confident. Confident means to be sure and certain about something. Look at the picture. The boy looks confident. He is sure that he is going to pass the driving test. He is confident. Now kindly, write all these words in your notebook and show them later to your teacher at school. And now open your student's book on page 100. In your student's book, page 100, go to part 1, vocabulary. Read the given instructions. Match the words in bold with their meanings A to G. Then listen and check your answers. Kindly pause the video. Read each of the given sentences here, then match the words in bold with their meanings A to G. Now I will play the CD on the task. Listen and check your answers. Module 8. Action. 8A. 1. Vocabulary. Match the words in bold with their meanings A to G. Then listen and check your answers. 1. It rained, so we didn't go hiking. We were very disappointed. B. Upset, because things haven't happened the way you expected. 2. I'm always a little nervous before tests, because I'm afraid I won't do well. D. Worried about something. 3. My sister is terrified of spiders. Every time she sees one, she screams. F. Very scared. 4. My father was working all day and came home exhausted. A. Very tired. 5. I was annoyed when Rob borrowed my tablet again without asking. E. Feeling a bit angry. 6. Pete won the science competition and his parents were very proud of him. C. Pleased about something you or someone else has done. 7. The coach is confident that the team will win the next game. G. Feeling sure about something.
Great job, dear students. You could work out this task. Now open your workbook on page 108. In your workbook, page 108, go to task A. Read the given instructions. A. Look at the pictures and read the situations. Then use the adjectives in the box to complete the sentences about how the people in each situation feel. Let's have a look at the given adjectives in the box. Disappointed, terrified, exhausted, proud, annoyed, confident. Now let's move to the first situation. Donna saw a large scary spider on the wall. She was, look at the picture. Excellent students, she was terrified. Your answer is correct. Now let's move to the second situation. Mike studied for his biology test, but he didn't do well. He's, he's disappointed. Excellent students, your answer is correct. Let's together move to the third situation now. Mark and Kathy are brother and sister. They had an argument this morning. They aren't speaking to each other at the moment. They are at each other. They are annoyed at each other. Well done, students. Now the fourth situation. Dylan has his driving test today. He believes he'll pass. He's, he's confident. Excellent students. He's sure about that. Now we move to situation number five. Clark graduated from university today. His parents are very, very proud. Excellent students. They are satisfied. They are pleased. Now the last situation, situation number six. James was studying for a test last night until late. And today he's, he's exhausted. He's very tired. Great job, dear students. You could work out this task. Now let's together move to task B. In your workbook, page 108, read the given instructions. B. Complete the sentences with the words in the box. Let's have a look at the given words in the box. Instructor. Lately. Panicked. Ages. Horse riding. Interviewed. Now kindly pause the video and try to work it out. Let's check your answers now. Alex wants to become a skydiving Instructor is the correct answer. 2. The reporter, the famous football player. Interviewed. Excellent students. Number 3 now. Majid and his family have lived in the same neighborhood for ages is the correct answer. Number 4 now. A. Have you ever tried horse riding? B. No way. I'm afraid I might fall off and break a leg or something. Great job, dear students. Number 5 now. I haven't seen Hasna lately, have you? Number six, Mrs. Thompson panicked when she got stuck in the lift. Great job, dear students. You could work out this task. And now open your student's book on page 100 again. Go to part two, read. Read the given instructions for task A. Would you like to be a reporter? Why? Why not? Have you ever helped somebody who was in a difficult or dangerous situation? What exactly happened? What did you do? Here I have suggested answers for all these questions. Suggested answers. I'd really like to be a reporter because I find it very interesting. I like visiting other places, talking to people and informing the world about different issues. No, I wouldn't. I think it's a difficult job and I would have to work long hours. I have helped an old lady once with her shopping. She was quite old and her shopping bags were very heavy. So I helped her carry them to her house. And I also helped her cross a very busy street, which can sometimes be dangerous. You can make use of these suggested answers and write them in your notebook. Now let's together move to task B. Read the given instructions. B. Look at the comic strip and read it out in groups. Why did the reporter interview the boys? 
I will play the CD on the comic strip. Listen carefully and try to find out the answer for the given question. 2. Read B. Everyday Action Heroes At the go-kart track Hey Steve, did you see how fast I was going? Yeah, yeah. Look, we've been here for ages. All you do is go go-kart racing lately. Let's go to a place where we can sit down and relax a bit. What about the park? I can't. Do you see the man who's standing over there? He's a reporter. What if he wants to interview me? I have to stay. You know how much I want to be on TV. Sure, Terry. Whatever. I'm leaving. The next day... So, did the reporter interview you yesterday? No, he didn't. I don't get it. I'm the best go-kart driver in town. I think people should know. Look, I think... Help! Help! Hey, boys! Can you help me? I can't hold on for long. What should we do? He's going to fall. I can't look. Stop it, Terry. Call 999. I'll get the ladder that's next to the shed. Oh no, it's too short. What are we going to do? He's going to fall. I know. Let's put it on that table over there. Quick. 30 minutes later. This is the place where the accident almost happened. And that's the roof which John Harper was fixing when he slipped. He was hanging from the roof and calling for help when these two local boys saved him. Tell me, how do you two heroes feel? Well, Steve is the one who took action. I was terrified. He's the real hero. We both helped. It's a good thing you boys were passing by. So, maybe go-kart racing wasn't the best way to get on TV. You think? Well, let's go back to the given question. Why did the reporter interview the boys? Can you answer this question? Let's find out. Excellent students, because they saved Mr. Harbour, or because they were heroes. Both answers are correct. Now let's move on. Here you are going to read again and choose the best title A, B, C or D for the comic strip. Let's have a look at the given titles. A. The Reporter B. The Go-Kart Race C. Hanging from the Roof D. Everyday Action Heroes So what do you think is the best title for this comic strip? Have some time to choose the best title. Let's check your answers now. Great job, dear students. Everyday Action Heroes is the best title for the comic strip. In this slide, dear students, I have a task for you. Match the words with the pictures. Here you have the words. And here you have the pictures. Have some time to work it out. Let's check your answers now. Well done students, all your answers are correct. Well, that's all for part one. We will go through the comic strip and work out more related tasks in part 2. Until then, I hope you enjoyed our lesson for today. Stay safe and goodbye.